Hey YouTube, Pipe Laurie here again. And I'm making a video right now just before I leave the house to go pick up some evidence in the case set for tomorrow. Uh, I mentioned in yesterday's video that I was going to make a video about a certain purchase on eBay that my girlfriend made for me. Yes, my loving girlfriend who happily supports my pipe smoking hobby. Um, she bought me um, two pipe racks, both from the same vendor. And this was at the same time that I had purchased my Randy Wiley freehand pipe, which I've uh, shown in a video a couple of times since I've gotten it. But uh, as I was looking at that pipe, she took it upon herself to go ahead and scroll down and look at the pipe accessories. And lo and behold, she saw these two racks, and she asked me if I liked them, and I said, yeah. And out of the uh, loving kindness of her heart, she placed bids on them. And uh, so this is what my honey got me. Let me turn this around here. There is one pipe rack, and here is the other. And let me just say from the outset that both these pipe racks were packaged magnificently. I mean, more than, than enough cushioning and padding inside the box from the vendor from whom both these pipe racks came uh, so as to ensure their, their safe trip and arrival to my P.O. box. Just outstanding. And uh, as you can might be able to see, uh, there is some distressing, you know, age what have you but one it's not too bad and two I, I think it adds character I think like a good estate vintage pipe that's been cared for gathers character throughout the years you know in the fullness of time I think it's a good thing I think it uh, I, I think it's a very neat effect. And uh, let me show you this one here. This is my favorite of the two. Uh, this is a square carousel style pipe rack, as you can see there, squared. And it is, what it is a closed hole construction, which I prefer for classic length pipes. Um, it holds them very nicely, and it's got it, it just appeals to me, I, I, as, as opposed to the open hole construction, which is fine, especially if you have longer stemmed pipes or uh, more magnum bold or magnum sized bold pipes. Um, but for these classic length pipes, I, I prefer the closed hole. For some reason, it just gives it a more old fashioned, old timey look, old timey feel to it. And by, and by the way, these pipes did not come with the racks. These are my pipes. And uh, let me show you here. This first jar, and e each of these racks came with jars. That's one of the added pluses about these uh, two racks that really sold me on them. This one here has a nice pebbled finish to it. And it's a beautiful amber color nice dark gold shade. It says Humidor for your tobacco blends and in this one as you can see it's very clean and very well maintained. I think I'm gonna put an aromatic in there and probably my favorite of the aromatics Boswell Spice and Ice because it's a spice colored jar. And if you've ever smoked Spice and Ice, you know that it's got like a spiced orange, nutmeg, clove kind of taste to it. A cinnamon type of finish to it. And over here, we have not quite the same square carousel as the other one, but still, uh, I guess like a smaller square carousel style, but uh, without the jar being in the center. And it's offset to the jar. And this one here, this jar is going to be secured in a nice brass finish ring. And this jar is corrugated. 
and clear glass. And what's really neat about this is that it's got a sealed, I can't even get, get it open, sealed lid here, there you go. It's sealed so that the tobacco that's inside stays fresh. I might have to put a water pillow in that one. But in this one, as you can see, I had trouble trying to get it off with one hand. But it too is clean. Minus the stuff on the table itself, but it's very clean, as you can see. And it pops back on. So it, whichever blend I put in, which will probably be an English, and it'll stay fresh. I'll probably put some Boswell's Countryside in that, or maybe a nice quantity of Northwoods. And they contain some of my pipes. There's my Mario Grandi Shark Fin Dublin, which I call a shark fin because although it is a Dublin shape, I can get it out here. It's a narrow tapered top. And it looks like the dorsal fin of a shark. And being on a lawyer, it's very appropriate. So it's my Mario Grandi Shark Fin Dublin. And next to it, yeah, it's also very stubborn like a good lawyer. And over here I have my Peterson St. Patrick's Day edition. I think it's shape number 502. Pipe is an apple shaped. Uh, St. Patrick's Day to honor the day I officially became a pipe smoker. But my pipe collection I shall make a video on at some future date. I just wanted to show some of the pipes that I had and how they're, they're very well accommodated in these pipe racks. And of course, what pipe collection would be complete without the obligatory Missouri Mirsham corn cob? So there you have it. Some beautiful, beautiful uh, pipe racks that were bought for me by my beautiful, beautiful girlfriend. And uh, if any of you know of any uh, wood carvers or merchants that make pipe racks for plus size pipes, like Boswell Jumbos or Arders or Giants or what have you, uh, just drop me a line because I would really like to get those also so I don't just keep laying my large size pipes on their sides so uh, those are my gifts for my girlfriend in support of my pipe hobby pipe pleasure hope you enjoyed it and show me what, what kind of racks you have for your pipes alright until then this is Pipe Lore saying cheers and I'll present the evidence but you be the judge. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.